Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Welcome to your first HTML5 in line SVG tutorial, which is a part of iFectioner.com HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial series. In this tutorial and in the next few tutorials, we would be using inline uh, HTML5 uh, SVG code to develop graphics in the SVG format. The first question which comes to our mind is what is SVG? Well, SVG stands for Scale Able Vector Graphics and uh, it is a language which is used to describe 2D graphics using XML which is extendable markup language. In SVG, uh, for SVG graphics or the scalable vector graphics, we use the XML format. We use the same node structure as we use for XML file. And uh, that is why the graphics which are uh, created in scalable vector graphics format are smaller in size and uh, because uh, we only define the dimensions of those graphics which we create uh, in scalable vector graphics scenario therefore they are created in lines and curves and that's why they do not they don't uh, lose quality when we zoom them in. So, if we zoom in the graphics, they do not uh, lose the quality. And uh, scalable vector graphics allow three types of graphics uh, 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 to be inserted in the SVG area. And those three types of graphics are, as uh, you have already guessed, the first one is vector graphics shapes and uh, basically uh, it's the path and the straight lines and uh, other stuff. Secondly, we can use images in the SVG area to develop SVG graphics and we can draw curves here in the SVG uh, working area. And uh, SVG working area can be dynamic and interactive. By dynamic means, I mean that SVG graphics, we can load SVG graphics uh, dynamically on our page and then we can change them and animate them. Uh, and uh, they can respond to user uh, inputs and therefore we call them interactive. We can use JavaScript to make them interactive and dynamic and therefore SVG can also be used to make simple SVG games. And uh, uh, the file extension of SVG files are uh, SVG and uh, because these files are in XML format, we can compress them and we can uh, use the extension SVG dot SVG Z. And uh, we can uh, use SVG uh, graphics in our web pages either using the inline uh, uh, code in line SVG code to develop graphics in our web pages or we can use different SVG uh, graphics uh, making programs for example in page or uh, Adobe Illustrator to make those graphics and then we can import those graphics to so show those graphics in our HTML5 pages. So there are different methods to use SVG in which uh, SVG can be used in our HTML5 pages. The first method is inline SVG, which would be the main 
focus of our tutorials there is we write code to develop SVG graphics in our HTML pages and uh, the other method is that you can develop SVG graphics uh, SVG in different graphics program and then you can use the object tags to embed them in your pages or you can use uh, the iframe tag to import them or to show them in your pages or simply you can use img source tag to show svg graphics in your pages and you can also use svg graphics as the background images on your pages using css so these are different methods which we can use to uh, uh, use svg graphics in our pages but our focus would be on inline svg uh, code and uh, one more thing that SVG is not a new technology or it's not a, a new way of developing graphics in our pages it, it uh, W3C has been working on SVG standardization since 1999 and uh, when it was introduced it uh, uh, was called the flash killer but it never it could never compete with the flash it has never been able to give the real competition to the flash but uh, with inline SVG uh, in HTML5 it is uh, now hoped that it would go give some kind of competition to flash or uh, Adobe flash and to uh, in the next tutorial you, we would be discussing the difference between the graphics which are which we create using the canvas tag and the graphics which we create using the SVG tags. So please join me in the next ifectioner.com tutorial. Take care. Bye bye.